Module number one is about strength. Your number one priority for building a great physique and having a great foundation to your health is not losing body fat. It is building muscle, which you do by getting stronger. In this module, I'll cover how you can have a transformation to become this hero version of yourself with a great, strong physique and a great foundation to your health. Let's do it. Lesson one, module one, we are diving into the overview of strength. And I start with that for a very important reason. Many programs, many transformation programs emphasize fat loss, which is actually a relatively quick process in the grand scheme of life. But when focusing solely on body fat, many often regain the fat after finish, quote unquote, finishing that program. In today's society, what causes this regain of fat is not a slowed or broken metabolism. What happens is that we move less and we lose muscle. If we can put muscle first, we can get the most results for life. If you want to have a great physique for life, and if you want to have a great foundation for your health for life, we need to focus on building muscle. Now, I'm not saying you should be a bodybuilder and be less than 10% body fat, but what I am saying is for you to become the hero version of you that can simply stand proud to be and exist within who you are, to be confident with how you look, and to feel your best physically. There was actually a long time in which I really didn't feel these things, and I thought at first it was simply a matter of reframing my own beliefs, my own firmly held self-image, the way I kind of thought of myself, and that's a part of it, but I quickly realized that's not the entire part of this transformation process as well, to become this hero version of your own self. Once I figure out how to prioritize my own exercise, nutrition, and sleep, that's when I was able to actually transform into this hero version of myself. These three things are what allowed me to create a foundation to stand top, to then become this hero version of my own self and feel like the hero version of myself. But moving forward, the way that plays out in real life is by prioritizing muscle, building muscle for the long term. That is the number one priority you need to have to go through this transformation. Now, in this program, I'm going to go through a lot of firmly held beliefs that are common in society and how we can reframe them to be a little bit more healthy and productive. Dysfunctional does not mean you are someone broken, it's just simply a belief that does not serve you. So one of the first things we need to realize when starting this new program, when starting something new, we commonly think, I should already know where I am going. But the healthy reframe of this is, you cannot know where you are going until you first know where you are. Imagine we're out in an ocean and there's an island that we're trying to get to and we're trying to pick a direction in the middle of the ocean and we don't know, we can't visually see that island, but if we don't know where we are, we can't effectively chart a course out to that island. The first thing we should ever do is try to figure out what is our point A before we can actually start and chart out our direction to point B. Another common belief is that with muscle, what is kind of our point A? Well, oftentimes people think, oh, I need more muscle to get stronger. When in reality, building muscle is the other way around. I can't build muscle until I get stronger. Muscle is a byproduct of strength. And so in this program, in this module specifically, I'll show you workout routines and the fundamentals you need to know in order to actually build muscle and get stronger week after week and how you can always make progress. Last thing. Strength is relative. So another common belief in the gym is, oh, I'm not strong because I can't bench two plates, 225. This is a common belief, but it's, a, it's not productive at all. And so a better way to think about it is 225 pounds is relative. I am strong because I can bench my body weight. In this program, I'll go through ways in which we can use our own body weight as a reference to standardize everyone's strength journey. Body weight and using different sort of specific exercises is a great way to make sure that it's not about the weight on the bar, but how that is in reference to you specifically. We'll establish what point A is further on, and that's just a matter of you going out and trying out exercises and showing up to the gym, but establishing what point B is, let's figure out just a little bit more about what that looks like. So where are we going? What is point B? To build this strong physique and to have this strong foundation for our health, we need to build muscle, which we're going to learn how to use progressive overload in our workouts to always make progress. And we need to learn how to lose fat, which is a matter of nutrition and creating calorie deficits. You can do as much crunches as you want to do and try to target losing belly fat around your waist as much as possible. 
but it simply comes down to what foods you are eating and more so how much food you are eating. I'll cover that in the module around nutrition, so stay tuned for that. Last thing, when we're talking about training for strength and how strength is relative, I will outline some strength standards that you can use in which if you can hit these strength standards, you will likely have a great physique developed. And so these give you great goals to work towards and always give you focus and clarity around what your workouts are getting you towards. When you can work up to these specific exercises, not only will they help bulletproof you and how you feel in the gym, you can feel strong no matter what you're doing. When you can get these strength standards, you will at least have to have had a certain amount of muscle built up over time because of how much strength you have acquired. So there's a law of specificity that says your body will adapt to the circumstances you put it in. And so if you are training for strength specifically, you will look a certain way. Think of this in terms of marathon runners versus quote unquote bodybuilders. They train differently and now they also look differently. Our bodies are amazing things and they can adapt and do great things. And I'm not saying you need to go on the extremes of either one, but as a foundation to either direction we're going to head in, this is what you need to do. And we need to figure out that strength is going to be our number one priority to have a foundation to further build upon later on down the road. Now, point A, figuring out where are you? Getting started, the number one thing you need to realize is that you are you, but you must be willing to absolutely suck when you start off. And this is something that our subconscious innately wants us to always pick the easiest way to do things. And you should not underestimate this. It is one of the most powerful drivers of every human being. It is our natural human instinct to try and prioritize the least painful option because that will quote unquote, keep us safe and potentially let us survive another day. But we won't grow if we never try to do something that isn't a little bit painful and isn't a little bit of a struggle. Challenge is what lets us grow. And so can you simply be the person that shows up to the gym or workout? That's what week one is all about. Can you be the person that shows up and you can confront the fear of going to the gym or fear of trying something new? No one is ever too good to reconsider what is holding him or her back. And so I'll have you consider these last sort of questions. Do you know your way around a gym? Do you know how to do a workout? Warm-ups and all, what is the kind of flow of a workout? And do you know what sort of weights or exercises can you do? Do you know sort of how strong you already are? If you're completely new, this will be really overwhelming to go and try something new. If you already have some experience when you're going to the gym and trying out a new routine, you may feel a sense of overwhelm or unease simply by trying something new because you feel like you may be losing a sense of freedom as you're trying out something you aren't already comfortable with. Overall, simply admitting that our point A may be a lot worse than we usually want it to be or think it is, simply admitting that we suck is how we can grow beyond that. Some last thing before we dive into the other details of this program, I want to reemphasize that this is truly about transformation, not more and more information that isn't already out there on the internet. I want to fully acknowledge that I also do not have every unique individual solution to every problem you may face in this program, and I also don't have any secrets that aren't already out there in the fitness industry. This is about creating transformation and reframing the core held beliefs that we have into productive beliefs that can help us lunge into action and create changes that we wish to see. I can also admit that I have been through this journey. Transformation truly is a hero's journey. There are going to be times in which you have challenges and temptations, and there will be a moment in which you truly want to give up. But I remind you, that is what hard feels like. And when you can push through that, that is where transformation lies. Also, at the end of any great journey, there is some form of return, and that journey then becomes a part of someone else's. So with you here today, my story now becomes a part of yours, and I want to thank you for that. Giving me this opportunity helps connect and reshare what I know and what has been really useful to me and how I can reframe certain firmly held beliefs that I had, and hopefully they can have the same impact with you as well. My only wish is that you start to think about those that you may also have a positive impact on. When you create positive change in your own life, you also inherently create positive change in others as well. So moving forward. This journey cycle ends in a return, and somehow giving back to other people starting their own journey. So go through this with a mentality of every lesson you learn could also be a lesson shared with someone else. Now, like I mentioned before, I don't have all the answers with all the challenges and temptations you may face, and you don't have all the answers figuring those out, but you can be the type of person that reaches out and asks for help. So don't be afraid to do so. 
Now, all things considered, I am 100% confident that this course will help set you up in the right direction to create change for the best with your health and with your physique and establishing a foundation for your life to come. For what to expect next in this module around strength, we will cover the four training fundamentals you need to know for success in any of the workout programs that I write. If you can understand them, you can make any workout a great workout. I'll then cover how to always make progress and what to do when you plateau. So that way you can figure out how to establish a plan and a program for your entire year to come to always have sort of mini goals to latch onto, give you motivation to always show up for week after week in the gym and creating the progress that you wish to see. When you hit a plateau, oftentimes it's the mental fatigue that is the worst and not necessarily actually plateauing with our own strength goals. And lastly, I'll go over the quote unquote secrets of cardio and supplements that I think are heavily overlooked and how we can reframe them to be even more beneficial and help you be more successful with your transformation. I hope you are excited. You will catch me in the next lesson. So I'll see you there.